Started over five years ago, the Iceman's focus was on packaging and distribution of ice cubes. It has now diversified and began ice sculpting, the first of its kind in East Africa. We realize that there is a, there's a huge potential for the Iceman, the sale of ice cubes and the ice sculptures, which nobody else is doing in Kenya. We are the only people doing the ice sculptures. So what we are trying to do, what we did is, what we're trying to do is um, grow or make aware, the, uh, the people aware of ice cup, the, the beauty of ice sculptures. Um, and how to use them in either weddings or be any event, you know, corporate events, for weddings, for bachelor parties, for all sorts of occasions. Also for um, like um, christenings, if you have a theme party for the New Year's. Providing superior products has been instrumental in keeping Helen's firm ahead of the pack, an aspect that all entrepreneurs must embrace. The, the, the secret to it is having uh, constantly serviced machines for your ice cubes to come out r nice and clear and huge. You know? So our quality. We have customers who will not buy from anybody else but from us because of the quality of our ice and the fact that uh, we, we can guarantee them that it is kept certified as well. The growth of this business has not been without its fair share of challenges. Payment terms, due to the payment terms which you get, um, that is one of the major hurdles that we have, cash flow. Also the cost of electricity, which is something that we have to have. All our machines use electricity to produce the ice. We also need electricity to store the ice. So, and there's also a lot of um, fluctuation and the machines being so sensitive if, there's the, the, if, the, if the fluctuation continues, then the, the sensors in the machines keep uh, having problems. Helen advises want to be entrepreneurs to take the risk and start with the idea, then persist until it works out. Nothing comes easy. Don't give up. Just keep, keep trying. Keep trying. And you will get there one or another. And now there's a lot of help right now out there. You know, there's a lot of like for the youth and for the women as well and for the, uh, the physically, and mental, physically handicapped as well. So there's a lot of help out there right now. So I would say go for it.